Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melder Production, and today I'm going to show you how you can use the new custom mod and sample and hold modules in M Sound Factory to create, you know, interesting and new sounds. For those of you that really like modular synthesis, I think you'll really get a kick out of these. So I have two oscillators set up here. I have just normal oscillator with a triangle wave here, and then I have a sampler, and this is the same sample I've been using for a few weeks now. This is true. That's a little bit too low. Let's set it here. This is Chandler. What's up? In this one. Okay. So nothing particularly interesting there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the sampler's output to control something in the oscillator. I'll try pitch first. You think, how, how do I do that? So what I'm going to do is use the generate custom mod. So what this will allow you to do is whatever the input is, that will be sent to a modulator and the input volume or the input gain will control the amount of modulation. So if I go here, let's go to semitones and let's turn the semitones up to, I guess, 24 semitones. So that should be about uh, two octaves. Now, go in here, custom one. And you're wondering, why is it custom one? So generate custom mod, it says channel one. So you have one through eight. So you can do this more than one time. So now when I play this, you should hear a slight pitch change in the oscillator when it goes through this. This is Chandler. What's up? In this one. So you heard that that uh, sound from the oscillator. Wow, wow. That's what's happening. But you're thinking, ah, I don't want to hear the sampler at the same time. So what I can do is just go to volume here, panorama, and put that to silence. And you won't have to hear it. Hopefully in the future, Generate Custom Mod will have an output controller or mute so you can do that easily. But for now, that's an easy way to do it. Do it one more time so you can hear what the oscillator pitch is doing. So you heard that, but you're probably thinking, eh, it's not, not that interesting. But instead of semitones, I can do something else. So let's try this with the volume. So turn the depth of the volume up here. And now let's set this to custom mod. And one thing is this may not be loud enough, so I actually like to kind of like compress it by using this transform. I could actually use a real compressor if I wanted to, but I think this is easier. So now when I play this, the volume of the sample will come through this triangle wave. And it's interesting. It almost sounds like speaking. So let's hear it. This is Chandler. What's up? In this one, what else do you want me to say? So you can actually almost hear my voice coming through there, but that has nothing to do with the pitch or anything else. That's purely the volume, which to me is actually pretty cool. So you can do it that way. I don't think it's going to replace a vocoder for you, but in smaller amounts and something a little bit smoother, you could do that to create some sort of interesting effect. So I like that personally. So check that out. And there's other things you can do with that. If you think, ah, I don't want to use the sampler, you could use like an LFO here, uh, like this. I'm going to set this output from zero to one. And the reason I'm doing that is just because here it goes from zero to one, minimum, maximum. And it'll do the same thing with the volume. Now, of course, you're thinking, eh, it's kind of boring. Why do I want to do that with an LFO? And normally you wouldn't, but there's other things. You could put some effects between here, etc. You could also use an envelope, etc. But one thing I might want to use the LFO for is for the sample and hold. So let's go to sample and hold here. Add this. Now, I could just use this value and hook up an LFO here, but I'm going to add a second LFO in the next lane. And just right-click on sample and hold lane 4, steel input, like this. Now what this is going to do is, oh, if I go into sidechain input here, if you're not familiar with sample and hold, basically what it does is as this first one moves, every time the second one hits the top, it's going to freeze whatever position this is in, and then it's going to take that and send that to the output here. I guess I could do for the volume, but actually I think it sounds better with the uh, pitch. And if I have them both going at the same rate, like now at one hertz each, you're probably not going to hear anything. It's just going to sound like it's an octave up or something, so it's not interesting.
pretty boring, right? But let's say I start to move the rate of the second LFO. So this one will be freezing it at different points in the sine wave, like this. So those are probably sounds you remember from like old uh, uh, 80s Mr. Wizard or I think I think Kraftwerk did that or any kind of old late 70s, early 80s uh, sci-fi show had some sound like that. So there's all sorts of cool effects you can do with that. Um, you can also turn this up. So I'll show it a little bit faster. And of course, I'm doing this on semitones, but you could do this with any other parameter. I could use this for a filter, I could use this for the pitch transform, like pulse width modulation, etc., uh, volumes, etc. And not just for the oscillator, I could do it with anything, really. Uh, and it's also per voice, which is really cool. Uh, but let's show like something else. So I really like this. I can make video game sounds if I change the first LFO to a saw wave. So you're probably familiar with this sound. Or, if I invert it here, so now it's going a different way. So I'm getting all those video game sounds, and I could even go into, was it, quantize here, and give it that real video game feel, like this. So, you can experiment with that and do all sorts of crazy things with this. So, you don't even have to use the oscillator. I could do this with a, a sample if I wanted to, or I could do it with any of the physical modeling stuff. I have no idea how any of that would sound, but that's for you to experiment with. And also, you could also experiment with other things like putting something else between this LFO, using an envelope instead. So, there's all sorts of possibilities that I haven't even thought of. You could do this uh, per voice. So, you can even do this with things that are polyphonic, like uh, this. Let me turn this off for example. So, I have chords here. So, let's hear this. But, I could go into here and add something else, like, uh, for example, let's try note random. So, there's some randomness to it, so they're not all doing the exact same thing. So, like this. So there's all sorts of weird and strange things you can do with this. So I hope this gives you some ideas. And uh, if it does, give me a thumbs up. If you have a question about it, leave me some comments down below. Check out all the other plugins at MeldaProduction.com. And until next time, see you.